this year in one word, what word would you use? Um, I would say resilient. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and now that your rookie year is done, you officially kind of get to move on from that designation, that tag. What are you looking forward to uh, doing this off season and, and growing going into year two? Yeah, I think we're doing some extra trainings at the end of the season, which will be nice just to get a little technical in before going home, seeing family, and taking a much needed break uh, this season, which I'm excited about, but we'll be back in January. And I think just having that structure from the beginning and like knowing, setting up our goals from the beginning of the season and really going out and trying to achieve those is gonna be really important for us. And we're excited for next year, but after a break. <laughs> totally. And as you think of that word resilient, like, um, was that something that you feel like you already had coming into this year? Or is that something that you had to develop personally? And, and how did you go about becoming more resilient through through this season? Yeah, I think everyone has resiliency. Um, yeah. And everyone has that in their repertoire. But it you kind of add to it every challenge and every obstacle that you go through. So I think, like, I built resiliency when I was at UNC. And I... Um, from ACL my freshman year so that was kind of a building block of my resilient wall and then you there were just little things along the way this year that our team had to be resilient about but also you personally had to be resilient so I've learned a ton this year about it and I've learned kind of how to navigate the ups and downs of this league and it's never perfect but just using the moments that aren't so good and building that wall so then like when things happen in the future you're more prepared, you have more tools in the toolbox, and I just think everyone built so much resiliency over this year. And then lastly, you mentioned, you know, the, the ACL at UNC. When you look at specific moments this season, what are some specific moments that stand out to you as far as building resiliency for you? Yeah, I think it's, um, a lot of it too is just the day-to-day. -day. Like, it's a long season, and you're doing a lot of the same things every day, so it's just bringing that energy every day and bringing that same motivation. Uh, to sometimes the monotonous day to day but I think some of the you guys have seen it some of the some of the losses were pretty big I mean the six nothing loss to Orlando I think that was really our turning moment for us I think in the season and the way that we came back from that was just incredible but there were some losses even that were just those two to one losses where I think we actually did control the game and so I think those were a little more deflating because <laughs> We actually did pretty well. We had the chances. We just didn't finish them, and we still didn't get any points. So I think just kind of coming up after every single one of those games and still attacking the next with a fresh mindset was one of the hardest things I had to do this season because I was not used to that kind of road on a team. But like I said, like the girls stuck together, and you just we built so much. Um, had to build our confidence back up. Had to build our resiliency back up, and. It was a learning year for sure. I'm, I'm glad you brought up the resiliency that you faced in college, the torn ACL, coming back from that, how that kind of prepared you for this year in a lot of ways. I've also been following your rookie career off the pitch, i.e. you posted a couple things about trying to finish your degree mm -hmm. uh, and whatnot, and I guess congratulations are almost in order. Yes, one month. <laughs> You're almost there, so yeah. I won't quite congratulate there, but Thank I'll say you. finish strong. Uh, how how tough has that been, kind of balancing your rookie season where you're trying to learn sometimes new formations, new yeah. teams, new every, uh, new positions, all of that, with also, hey, I want to finish my degree here and, and get that done. Yeah, I think everything was so new this year. I had new teammates, new coaches. And, I mean, when you're in college, you're, you have a slight rotation, but it's usually just one class yeah. leaving, and the majority of your team stays the same. So And we had the same coaching staff the whole time I was there. So I think – just the changeover was everything was brand new. The the speed of play, the physicality, um, the people I was playing against, the stadiums, everything was so new. So I think like I had to give myself a little bit of grace in the beginning of the season because I really wanted to make an impact on this team, but I knew it was going to take time to kind of come in and, and really just embrace everything around me and learn from everyone around me. So I would like to think I, I didn't take too long, but... I definitely had to learn and then I think me personally I like to be very busy so it definitely helps I like to do things outside of soccer and not just define myself as a soccer player because I think that again like 
lets me bring in that energy coming into training and it allows me not to think about soccer 24 7 which I think is very important but the degree was hard <laughs> like it's been it's been a grind I think I had 6 a.m class every day of the summer um yeah <laughs> and law class I don't know why I was in a law class but it was crazy so I think I pride myself off of having things outside of soccer like I said so this degree is super important to me and before I entered the draft wanted to make sure I was going to be able to finish it um yeah but lots of hours I think I've had to be on zoom during pretty much every breakfast this <laughs> this season yeah. get made fun of a couple times <laughs> but it's definitely worth it and like it'll mean the most when I'm able to like go back and graduate with my original class in December and my parents will be there so um, two more. yeah well, I'd like to say congratulations when that day comes because I probably won't see you then. But I am curious. I love the human interest part of it. What are yeah. some things that Allie Sentinel loves to do outside of soccer? What are your like yeah. passions and things that drive you? Yeah, well, I've been doing a lot of cooking this year. I think I would call myself a very average chef. Um, but I do like to cook, and um, I love having people over for dinner and a very extroverted person. So dinner parties and, and whatever has been something I've loved to do this year. I've gotten a little bit into the Utah mountains, not too many strenuous hikes, but just kind of going out in nature and exploring the small the small loops that we can do in between <laughs> practices and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, like I've been finishing up my degree, so that's been, that's been the most of it. And then I do work with a nonprofit at home too that I've done since high school. So just like giving back is one of the huge things that I want to focus on. That's very cool. Yeah. Uh, my, are you sure? Go ahead. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Any aspirations for further education? Is this degree going to be it for you, or do you think there's more in the future for you? Yeah, I think there's probably more in the future. Um, I don't think right now. I think I need a little break, uh, but I also am kind of looking into how I can just gain uh, real world experience with my degree. I have an ad and PR degree with like marketing on the side, so very very similar to what a lot of you guys do here and uh, so just like looking to do things outside of training like we do have some free time so like doing that outside and just gaining some of that experience before I maybe do like a master's or something cool yeah all right thanks Allie thanks, thanks Allie. Allie. thank you thank you Allie